want to thank everybody for watching Crypto Revolution, where I talk about everything crypto daily. I want to thank everybody that's hitting that like button for me. We've had a tremendous amount of likes, subscriptions, plenty of people commenting in the comment section. Please like the video in the comment section. Let me know, comment what number like you are. Definitely means a lot, supports the channel, helps the channel grow. Jumping right into the market today, crypto red day overall market cap of cryptocurrency 255 billion dollars bitcoin at 9302 let's take a look at this bitcoin daily chart so there's bearish divergence on the daily chart actually quite a few charts bearish divergence had been playing on lower time frames as well so you see you've got this high right here okay and then this high is a higher high okay now down here on the indicator you've got a high and then a lower high high and then a lower high high this is about this is class C possible bearish divergence. So there's bearish signs here. We could see a pullback to the 200 simple moving average, which is also real close to the 0.236 Fib level. This would mean a pullback to around 9,800. Um, yeah, is there a potential we go lower? Sure. You know, we could retrace as low as 8,000, but there's a lot of bullish things happening here, okay? And it's hard to count the bulls out pulling back is just part of it. Look here previously, we ran up to 9,000, okay, middle of the month, and then we pulled back to about 8,200, and then we shot up to 9,500, okay? So essentially a pullback to around 8,800, 8,900, and then a continuation higher, 9,700, 10,000, 10,300 in the cards, okay? So I read the news today and everybody's like, the bears are out of hibernation. It's cold in Georgia today and the bears are out. This is a Bitcoin four hour chart. So you got this cup and handle, uh, which again, the, the bulls weren't able to push the price action above this green resistance level. Now your cup target's still in play at 11,000. Your falling wedge, multi-month falling wedge that we've been in for seven months is still, this target's still in play, 12,000. I mean, it takes time for this to play out. Okay, so you, obviously we don't go up in a straight line. So just plan on that. You know, pullbacks are part of it. This is a one hour chart and I want to emphasize this to you. So you can see we broke above, we broke above 9,400. We ran up to 9,550. That overhead resistance we were just looking at on the daily chart, also on the four hour chart. Now we've pulled back to this support level down here at about 9,250. You know, potentially 9,000 could be in the cards. You've got a potential a bullish MACD cross on the one hour time frame, which doesn't mean necessarily a huge move, but maybe back up to like 9,400. Obviously it would be great for the bulls to break up through this resistance and continue higher. The downtrend may not be over. We just had a bearish cross of the 21 and the 50. I wanna just emphasize to you guys like this, this is part of it, right? Impulse move higher and a pullback. Impulse move higher, pullback. Impulse move higher, pullback, right? So just how it works. Now, this bearish divergence here played out, and here's what you've got. You know, I've got a cryptocurrency trading group. I've got six chat groups where everybody's calling out breakouts. I've got 41 videos in a playlist. If you don't know anything about trading this market at all, the basics you need covered, you need advanced ideas covered. These videos are gonna help you learn to trade this market and become profitable. It's that easy. The number one reason why people join my trading group is because I post these profitable trading setups. If you guys want to join the cryptocurrency trading group, you want to pay in crypto, email me, CryptoBitcoinChris at gmail.com. I'll get you set up and in the group today. If you pay in crypto for six months, you get 20% off. If you pay in crypto for the year, you get a 30% discount and an additional month for free. If you don't want to pay with a card, you can do so. There's a Patreon link in the description. Listen, if you're not making a ton of money in this market right now, it's starting to get good, but we've got to get everybody up to speed before this market takes off. For sure, just like last time in June, everybody FOMOs into the group, 300 people at a time. Like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? The market's about to take off. Join the group beforehand and get a good idea on how to trade these setups. ICX up 102%. About this aggressive buy, you're up 102% in ICX. Bits Crumbs Bishop stated, boom, I'm up $1,200. Look at that. Thanks, Chris. This person stated, I love this. I love you, man. You're a killer teacher. I'm so grateful to be in this group. Up $941 in one trade. In life, you're going to have a lot of opportunities staring you in the face. And there's a point where you just have to jump. 
Crypto mainstream adoption happens at hyperspeed when coronavirus is spread by dirty, filthy fiat. Imagine this paradigm. All of a sudden, we have to move to di digital currency in the United States because the coronavirus is spreading on fiat, on, on dirty, filthy fiat. So I'm going to be washing all my fiat with this. I joked around and posted this on Twitter. But look here, coronavirus is covered. I pay with cash rarely now. You know, I use BitPay cards. It's, it's like all my bills with value. You, you got to spend and replenish crypto, right? We got to spend it. We got to buy more. And we got to, you know, that cycle brings volume into this market. We have to support our space. But coronavirus spreading on fiat. Will this push mainstream adoption at hyperspeed? Interesting idea. Got coverage? We do. So Bittrex has secured $300 million in digital asset insurance for their cold storage system. Brilliant. I think this should be a requirement. You have to do something to protect the new people coming into crypto and, you know, potentially got coverage. This, this crypto security, as far as insurance goes, is going to be huge in the future. I Glasgow, Scotland says there's this huge sign on, on this building and it says millions of people can't be wrong. Bit Panda, Bit Panda, crypto taking over. Peter Brandt says Bitcoin is in its early stages of another parabolic move. I agree. Brandt says that Bitcoin remains within its massive bull channel that goes back to 2013. He noted that the top crypto, Bitcoin, recently started to redefine another parabolic advance, which is reminiscent of the previous bull market. You can go here, look at his chart, and you can see this parabolic price rise is coming. You know, potentially off in the distance here, 333,000 were the numbers I calculated. It's going to take some time, but we'll get there. Watch. You got, you can't doubt, like you get a little pullback on Bitcoin and everybody's like, oh man, here we go. Listen, I'm telling you the future is golden. I'm glad to be here with you guys. I'm thankful for this opportunity to, to share the crypto news and TA with you guys on a daily basis. We can FOMO'd out, he stated. This is another bullish sign. He thinks that the, the fact that Twitter permabulls were waiting for a dip to 5,000 was a signal that the bottom was already in. If you guys haven't signed up for a VPN yet, I definitely recommend Pure VPN. If you want to use Binance.com and trade all the little altcoins, if you want to use BitMEX, Bybit, you just want to have a protected experience when you're managing your crypto. I use it every day. Pure VPN, there's a link in the description that does support the channel. When you come to the site, if you wait for a minute, they'll offer you like an 85% discount. Definitely take advantage of that. There it is, insane 85% off. I want you guys to look at this chart real quick and notice the similarities, okay? So you can see you had one, two, three higher highs, okay? And the higher lows to go with it. And just like now, one, two, potentially we're on our third. Maybe we'll consolidate a little bit, maybe a slight pullback. But then uh, it just makes sense. We run up to 12,000. I mean, that's the measured move of the f uh, falling wedge on the daily of this falling wedge. So it seems like it makes perfect sense. So, yeah, use stop losses, right? You want to use stop losses. There has to be a line in the sand. If, if the bottom falls out, have a stop loss in place. Plan ahead. Do not freeze up. Do not freeze up. Stop what you're doing right now. Make a plan. If Bitcoin gets to this level and breaks lower, what am I going to do? If Bitcoin takes off and breaks higher and we break above 10,000, what am I going to do? Have a plan in place, write it down. Like I used to have post-its all over my PC when I was first getting started in trading, first getting started, really understanding that, hey, you got to have a plan in place. These NFL teams, they don't go play the Super Bowl and just, you know, hey, whatever happens, happens. It will be good. Here we go. The big game's coming up on Sunday. Whatever, ha whatever happens. No, man, this is, this is life-changing money. You have to have a plan and stick to it. Bitcoin bulls still have technical advantage after normal pullback, says Jim Wyckoff. So Bitcoin re recently dipped down to 91.95. This is a normal corrective pullback, he stated. The bulls are still in control. This is about to be the best January we've had in seven years. This is why it's important for the bulls not to lose any ground on the brink of a pivotal monthly close. This monthly close, we've got to close above essentially about 91.50 to get a bullish candle close, okay? And again, that candle close is going to happen later today. So just be mindful. But then he stated that, yeah, he's, Wyckoff is convinced that we, the bulls still have a short-term technical advantage over the bears and predicts more upside action.
a, a pullback would be healthy and normal. Okay, I mean, it would, it's not the worst thing in the world. We're used to it. Bitcoin price to hit 152,000 in December 2020. Should it keep surging at its current pace, stated the crypto bull. The idea here is we're up 32% this month, and Bitcoin is. If this happened every month this year, we'd be at $152,000 in December. Now, realistically, we all know Bitcoin. <laughs> Bitcoin loves to dip, right? So I don't know if 32% month of after month gains is really in the cards. However, sounds good. $152,000 Bitcoin end of year. Popular cryptocurrency wallet gets cracked in 15 minutes, says Kraken. So essentially, this is a treasure wallet. If you guys have a treasure wallet, don't give it to somebody that you don't trust. Don't give it to anybody. Like keep it locked in the safe at the house. Put it someplace safe, you know. They basically had an exploited hardware glitch in the device. So if somebody has direct physical contact and hacking skills, they can extract the encrypted seed phrase that lead, could lead to the loss of funds. So don't leave your hardware while laying around, obviously, right? This Japanese finance giant is doling out free XRP, kinda. So essentially, they've allowed and announced an initiative that will allow shareholders of its stock, SBI stock, to claim a free XRP prize. So you get 2,000 yen worth of cryptocurrency XRP worth around $18. And some people that have been shareholders for over a year will be entitled to 8,000 yen worth of XRP, which is going to be worth more than $73.50. Yeah, give it the cryptos away we all need to do this like give some crypto out to your family hey you don't know what bitcoin is here install this wallet let me send you 10 bucks worth just so you can see it have it understand it like hey they can identify with it part of mainstream adoption is is we're pivotal players as far as this goes like we're, we're the spokespeople for bitcoin and cryptocurrency go chain partners with morpheus network to offer iot supply chain solutions so part of this collab go chain is going to pair morpheus network's cloud-based interface and iot compatibility tracking system with go chain's blockchain protocol and smart contract solutions and protocol 2.0 alpha built on cosmos a software developers kit goes live on the test net you know i can't wait until this market gets to a point where these news pumps really start moving the market man i'll tell you what trading this market becomes so much easier when you find a good technical pattern and i, I promise you these projects they they pump the news out when, when these patterns these technical patterns ta patterns when they need when they need to break they put the news out right they're the biggest holders if they want to manipulate the price they can right and so the cool thing is you get you get this, these news pumps are so fun to, to play and trade, you know, these mainnet launches. And yeah, so I'm just excited to see this market starting to turn around. And I'm really, man, future is golden in 2020. Don't for a second doubt that. If you guys like the content that I provide on a daily basis, be sure and subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment below, hit the bell for notifications. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys tomorrow.